the Octonauts and the Manatees. Captain, are you there? Come in, Dashy. There's a dangerous storm approaching, and there's going to be a lot of lightning. And when lightning strikes the ocean, the electricity spreads out through the water near the surface. So even if it doesn't hit you directly, you can still get zapped. Thanks for the warning. I'm heading to deeper waters right now. Barnacles out. Whoa, I've been hit. Whoa, a manatee. <laughs> More manatees! Hey! Whoa, man, what's the hurry? Time for an emergency landing! Whoa! Make that a crash landing! Phew! Huh? Yeah! Um, giant clam, I think you have something that belongs to me, and I'm gonna need it back. In that case, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Hmm. This could take a while. Uh-oh. Sounds like more lightning. And it's heading straight for those manatees. Time to sound the octual... Oh. Huh. Oh. Can't uh, quite reach. Aha! A sticky limpet! And a little seaweed. Uh, bullseye! <laughs> Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, the lightning storm is heading straight for a herd of manatees. We need to get them to safety. Are you with the manatees now, Captain? Um, not exactly, Peso. I'm sort of, um, stuck. Uh, doing something else at the moment. But I'll guide the mission from here. The lightning storm's picking up speed, Captain. Keep tracking it, Dashy. Everyone, let's move those manatees to deeper water. Captain, wait! Go ahead, Shellyfish. I mean, uh, Jellington. Uh, I mean, Shellington. The manatees breathe air, Captain. They can only be underwater for a few minutes before they need to take a breath. So, the manatees will need to be moved somewhere they can breathe. Then we'd better lead them back to the Ouchopod. The Ouchopod? I meant to say, get all those manatees inside the Octopod now. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the cups. Yow! I'm digging this air today. You said it, ma'am. Nothing beats a little fresh air. Captain, we've arrived on the scene. Good. Then get those manatees moving. Aye, aye, Captain. Junip, come in. Chibakabu. Junip, the manatees will need something to eat. Gather as much seagrass as you can and bring it to the launch bo- Uh-oh. Chiba. Uh, nothing to worry about, Tunip. Just get the seagrass. Hmm. Hmm. Hungry barracudas. I'd better make myself invisible. Ahoy, manatees! There's a dangerous lightning storm approaching. We're here to lead you to safety. Sure thing, man. No problem. We're happy to go with that flow. Everybody climb onto a gup and we'll drive you down to the octopod. Here we go. <laughs> so sorry. They're moving very slowly. Oi, how do they ever catch any fish to eat? Fish? No way, man. We're vegetarians. We only eat plants. We never have to chase after our food, so we like to do things nice and easy. <sighs> Come in, Captain. Go ahead, Quasi. This is going to be trickier than we thought. The manatees are really slow. And they're a little disorganized. Well, you've got to get them organized. Line the manatees up and get them onto the gups one by one. I've got to go. I'm sure I saw something shiny around here. Shiny, shiny, shiny. The lightning 
Ravens getting closer. We need to get these manatees to safety fast. Hello, sir. You'll go to the Gub D with Dashy. Cool. Ma'am, hi there. You'll go to the Gub E with Peso. All right. Sir, Quasi here will be your driver on the Gub X. Hi. Climb aboard, matey. Hop on top. Oh, smooth ride, man. I think that's all we can fit. That's okay. I'll wait here. You can get me on the next trip. Don't worry. We'll be right back. Come on, mateys. To the octopod. Shiny. 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 Whoa! Uh-oh. Shiny thing! Looks like there's only one way out of this. Captain, almost all the manatees are safe inside the octopod. Only one left. Good work! Ah, peso! The lightning is now right over the last manatee. Oh dear. Captain, I don't know if we can get her back to the octopod in time. Whoa! I know. It's serious. It's not too late to save her, is it? Yes! It is? No! I mean, we'll rescue the last manatee. Bring the Gup D and the Gup C to the surface and call me when you get there. Air tank is almost empty. I won't be able to breathe down here much longer. Oh no! Whoa. We're coming for you! We manatees don't usually say this, but hurry, man! Captain, we've arrived at the surface. Good. Now flip the Gupti over and open the windscreen. This will create an air pocket so the manatee can breathe. Then tow it deep underwater, away from the lightning. Aye, Captain. I've got to get my paw out of this clam before I run out of air. Ah. 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 Can you breathe all right in there? Oh, yeah. But this is far out, man. Good. Now let's go. Almost empty. <gasps> Captain, it worked. The last manatee is safe. <laughs> Captain? Captain, are you all right? <gasps> I'm fine. How are you? I'm cool, man. Captain, the storm is passing. Thanks, Dashy. Now all the manatees can be released. Tweak, open the octo hatch. So long, manatees. Bye bye. Come on, guys. Let's go breathe some fresh air. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> now that's some nice air. Good work today, everyone. But what about you, Captain? Yeah, what happened down there? Oh, let's see. I was uh, struck by lightning, eaten by a giant clam, stung by a jellyfish, attacked by barracudas, escaped on the back of a blue whale, smashed into a shipwreck, freed myself, ran out of air, and, uh, oh yeah, found you. Oh, man. Yeah, pulling me poor. Manatee flippers. So, Quasi, how on earth did you manage to stack all those manatees onto the cup? The Octonauts and the Leafy Sea Dragons. 
Look at this video coming in from Dashi. She's in a kelp forest, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of kelp. Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew. Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh, whoa. Is everything all right out there? The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashy should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. And I'll just take one more video. All right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. Don't know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. No, oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Oh. The water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, oh, but the rougher the water, the calmer the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gut is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad! Oh, no! Come back, Dad! Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Uh... Dad! Just keep calm and blend in! Well done, you're blending in perfectly, boys. But, Dad, what about you? Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine! Back to the octopod. Remember, keep calm uh, and blend in. <laughs> Looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed? <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time. Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> Lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. The other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate. <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! I'm about to cook up some pirate stew! <laughs> now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate! <laughs> Duck! Chop! a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Ah. Hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashie, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor. <gasps> Leafy sea dragons. I completely missed them. Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gap, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octagoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashie, you take the sickbay. 
Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, let's do this. Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi! Stop that stew! Quasi! Chop! Chop! <gasps> Octonauts to the kitchen. Chop, chop, boil. The last little bit of kelp coming up, mateys. Oh, nowhere to hide. What's pirate for? Don't eat me. Stop that stew. What did you say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad. Now. Where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gup E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh no, he's getting away from us. Don't worry, we'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Gotcha! You're safe now! Whoa, thank you! Don't worry, little fellas! I've got your dad! Dad! You're safe! I'm coming, boys! I'm just fine! Oh, my! It's good to be back home with my boys! Oh, we've all had quite an adventure! Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys. Let's show these octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip sea water and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirates do. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> the octonauts and the remipedes. 
Remind me again, Shellington. What do you call those creatures you're looking for? Huh? Oh, Remipedes, Captain. They're very unusual creatures, and this area is crawling with them. Well, before you head out, let me just show you how to drive the Gup D one more time. Oh, I'll be fine, Captain. I've seen the Gup D in action. Yes, but Shellington, you've never driven her yourself. But I know how it starts. You just press this. <gasps> no, not yet. You have to close the windscreen first. OK, now you can start the engine. Well done. Now be careful. Steady as she goes. Don't worry, Captain. I know what I'm doing. Oh, whoops. Oh. Remember, take it easy. Very easy. Oh, oh whoops. Oh, hey. Tweak, we'd better keep an eye on the Gup D, just in case Shellington gets into trouble. Agreed, Cap. I'll check the Gup Finder. So far, so good. <sighs> Let's see, renegades. Um, well, they swim on their backs, have lots of legs, have long antennae, and live in dark sea caves. Ooh, dark sea caves. Oh, now where can I find a dark sea cave? <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Jumping jellyfish, a dark sea cave. I must investigate. <gasps> Cap, Shellington has crashed. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, Shellington has crashed the Gup D. If anything's happened to him, I'm ready. The Gup C is ready too, Cap. Peso, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the Octa hatch. You got it, Cap. Good luck. Amazing! Look at those stalactites. And these stalagmites. Huh? Oh! You're not a remipede. You're a worm. <laughs> I must investigate further. Avast! There's the Gup D! What's left of it? But where's Shellington? Hmm? A sea cave! Do you think he could be in there? Let's find out. Ooh. This cave just goes on and on. What was that? Huh? I must be seeing things. Hmm. Now, which way to go? Huh? Sounds like there's something down there. Magnifying glass. Oh no, we've got to find him. Caves are dangerous places, like mazes. Easy to get into, very difficult to find a way out. We'll need to go in with a guide rope so we can find our way back. Aye, Captain. Let's use this. Good thinking. Octonauts, let's do this. Ready. Yeah! What was that? Hello? Is someone there? Don't be frightened. My name's Shellington. I'm an octonaut. Hello? Hello? Ah! 
What are you doing here? This isn't your cave. I'm a scientist. I was exploring. Oh, you're a Remipede. You bet I am. And so are they. <gasps> oh, my. Gentlemen, let's give him the smell test. Assume circle formation. One, two, three, and smell. Ah, you're not from around here, are you? Oh no, which way now? Captain, I say we settle this the pirate way. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a pirate by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's the one, then. This place is like a maze. I'm glad we have this guide rope so we can find our way back out, Captain. Yes, especially since we've gone so deep inside. Aye, but where's Shellington? You'd think we'd have found him by now, mateys. That doesn't sound good. The rope! Yow! <laughs> Were you following me the whole time? You bet I was. We don't get a lot of visitors in our cave, so... We'd like to know what you're doing here. Well, as I said, I'm just exploring. Now that you've come this far, how are you planning on finding your way out? Well, oh, um, I, I hadn't thought about that. Um, I might need a little help from you, actually. What makes you think I could help? Well, you're a Renipede. You live your whole life finding your way around dark sea caves. Hmm, you got that right. And you have an excellent sense of smell. Right again. You do know a thing or two about Remy Pids. Uh, hold on. I smell something else. I smell more visitors. Three of them. <gasps> we'll have to find Shellington soon, or these torches will run out. But how are we going to get out? We'll have to retrace our steps. This way. What's that? Octonauts! Shellington! Are you okay? I'm fine. I discovered a very large group of renipedes. Um, hello there. Hello. So, I bet you're lost too, just like your friends here. I'm afraid so. We keep taking the wrong turn. Now we'll never find our way out. Why not? Because it's so dark. That makes no difference to me. I am blind. Blind? But how do you find your way around? The same as any remipede. We use our other senses. Smelling, touching, listening. Of course. And if the remipedes lead the way... We can listen and follow their voices. And we'll find our way out. <laughs> you sure will. Octonauts, follow those remipedes. Come on, this way. Nearly there. Oh, thank you, Remipedes. No problem. I'd be happy to show you around this cave again any time. Okay, let's head for home. Okay, Captain. I'll follow you in the ga... Oh. What happened to the Gup D? I, uh, think you may have bumped into a few things on the way here, Shellington. I think it's better if I drive home. I'm sure I could do better this time, Captain. It's just there's a couple of tricky turns along here. I wonder if Quasi would let me drive the Gup D. Uh, doubt it somehow. Oh, uh, I'm much better now, Captain. <laughs>